characteristics of objects in our surroundings. Friends, today in this video, we will learn about some characteristics of objects around us through the conversation between Appu the elephant and Jagu the monkey. Hey Jagu, where are you going with such a heavy box? I'm going to Golu's birthday party. Even I am going there. Hey Jagu, can you also roll your box like this the way I'm rolling my ball? <laughs> Apu, how is it possible that I roll my box just like your ball? Like this. Apu, look at this. This is your ball. And this is my box. Just touch it and see. Is it in the shape of your ball? No, this is not round like my ball. And it has got sharp corners on all the sides. And because it has a flat surface, it can be slided and also be moved. It is not possible to roll it, but I can surely slide and move it. Yes, Appu. This box has corners and its surface is also flat. This is why it cannot be rolled. Your ball is round. And that is why it can be rolled. Okay, I have understood that object which has got curved surface which doesn't have corners can be rolled. And those objects which have got flat surface cannot be rolled, isn't it? Yes, Appo. Jaggu, what gift did you get for Golu? I have got this pencil box and a water bottle for him. This pencil box also has a flat surface just like your box. So you can slide and move it. Isn't it? Yes. And this bottle can be rolled like this. Isn't it? Yes. We can roll this bottle and also slide and move it like this. What is there in this pencil box? There are two pencils in the pencil box. Look, Jakku, in this pencil box, the yellow pencil is longer than the blue pencil. Yes, this means that the blue pencil is small. Yes. The yellow pencil is long and the blue pencil is short. Hey Appu, what have you bought for Golu? Yes Jaggu, I too must give a nice toy to Golu as a birthday gift. Yes, this is a good idea. So will you come with me to buy the gift? Yes, let's go. Through Appu and Jagu's conversation, 
we came to know such things about the objects around us that objects with a round surface can roll and that objects with a flat surface slide by comparing two objects we can find out about their length you must also try to see such characteristics in the objects around you in the next video we will understand the characteristics of the objects around us with some examples today we will understand the characteristics of objects around us with some examples which are the things here which can be easily rolled we can easily roll basketball ball football and tennis ball because they don't have any corners and they have a curved surface wow apu now come on just arrange these balls in the ascending order of their size here according to their size we first place the smallest tennis ball then the ball bigger than that then basketball and finally we place the largest football well done appu appu how are we going to take this toy from one place to another place oh this is a very big toy it is not round it has corners and also flat surface for that reason we cannot roll it like a ball we will slide it like this well done which one of these bats is longer if we compare both the bats this wooden bat is longer and the plastic bat is shorter very good hey appu which toy did you like for golu i will buy this toy for golu because he can slide it like your bottle like this and see he can even roll it like this <laughs> come on let's go now today we understood the characteristics of objects around us with some examples in the next video we will see the mistakes we make while understanding the characteristics of the objects around us friends today we will understand some interesting facts about the objects in our surroundings appu look few things are kept over here a marble a lunch box and a tin can can you tell me what kind of surface does the lunch box have yes this lunch box here has a flat surface which we can also move by putting it upright like this well done now can you tell me that amongst the objects that are kept here which of them have a curved surface here this marble has a curved surface 
and the tin can. Hey, this can stand upright, like the lunch box, but it is also curved like the marble. So does it have a curved surface or a flat surface? It has a cylindrical shape. That means it is a cylinder. The surface of cylindrical objects are curved. Okay, I understand that. This tin can also have curved surface, just like the water bottle. Now tell me, which of these objects can be moved? This is very simple. Look, this lunch box has a flat surface. We cannot roll it like a ball. We can only slide it. And the tin box? Oh yes, this tin can has a cylindrical shape. That means it's a cylinder. So we can put it upright and slide it. And also roll it like this. Very good. Come on now, Appu. Tell me one thing. Which of these objects can be rolled? Look, this marble is round. We can easily roll it like this. And as you can see, this tin can is cylindrical. Cylindrical objects have a flat surface on top and also on bottom. That's why we can slide them. But if its surface is curved, we can also roll them like this. Oh, wow, Appu! You have understood very well as to which objects can be rolled and which can be slided and which can be rolled and slided. Friends, today we understood some interesting facts about the characteristics of objects around us. For example, we can slide the objects with a flat surface. We can roll the objects with a round surface. And that we can roll and slide objects with a cylindrical surface. You two along with your friends can learn about some more such objects with flat surface and curved surface. In the next video, we will learn some more characteristics of objects around us.